Hey everybody, Larry Bailey here. I wanted to just give you another reason to start paying attention to Encompass web settings. Specifically, this is this one's all about uh, notifications. So in uh, in Encompass Web, you have these things called notification templates. As a reminder, it's going to come from uh, an ice.com domain, like a no reply thing. Um, it's just important to make sure that you understand in desktop, you might use, hopefully, you might be using SMTP. You can use that same mailbox here. Just make sure you follow these instructions and resend the verification um, to, or send the verification to the email address that is going to be tied to these notifications. <clears throat> it's one size fits all. So, um, you know, usually it's a no reply or, or something like that uh, at your domain. This is where you create your notifications, and uh, just like anything else, they are uh, full HTML. Um, you can also add specific email addresses in here. You can identify your roles. Um, if you have TPO enabled, you can actually update for TPO specific roles as well, um, any role that you have in your Encompass desktop settings. And then down here, this is where you'd add in your fields. What's really super nice is you can actually add in all of your virtual fields. So if you wanted to let somebody know like, hey, the appraisal's been ordered, you can go in here and select your appraisal uh, in here. And then, of course, that'll give you that part. Um, what's really important is the way that the, uh, the way the syntax is written is different. Um, it's a double curly in here versus if it's just a, um, a square bracket. If you have no idea what I just said, you're not doing Encompass administration, which is totally fine. <laughs> But it just is different. Um, also, if you've got folks who know how to write HTML, you can actually write a full HTML email, do whatever you want, uh, freestyle. Here's why it's important to start thinking about um, using the workflow engine rules um, in here. It's because if you want to send out a notification and you want that notification to be role-based specific, so a role is assigned. So a lot of times we, we send out these notifications based upon a milestone being finished or a custom field. But what if none of that happens? What if we just pick someone? Um, so some good examples of this are the role is assigned and it's no longer assigned to a queue and you want to notify that team member that they've got an assignment. You can use this. Um, that's one example. Uh, and then of course there's all kinds of other uh, events in here that you can't get with desktop and it's even hard to do with third-party plugins. Um, some examples of that are a document being added or a file being attached to a document or a specific condition being added or a service order being fulfilled or a task being fulfilled. Now, the scheduler thing I've talked about in the community, and by the way, if you're watching this and you're not in Mortgage.Community, community, get over there because I have um, just gobs of hours of recordings and, and we do these Tuesday live shows at 4 p.m. Eastern that you should be participating in if you're not already. But the scheduler came out with 24.1 and um, it's not working exactly as designed. So ICE mortgage technology developers are uh, reportedly fixing this in 24.2, which should be out in August. This is a big deal because now you can finally send out emails with X days prior to or X days after of. So good examples, use cases are X days prior to lock expiration or X days prior to estimated closing. Or if you're chasing documents since the intent to proceed came back, it can be X days after ITP, right? These are just general concepts. And so, um, yeah, Workflow Engine, super awesome. I'm sure ICE is going to continue to make it better. Um, and then, of course, the results that are unique in here, you can apply enhanced conditions, which is why I've been talking about enhanced conditions for over a year. You can automatically assign a role. You can uh, order a service. You can create a task. You can complete a task. You can start or cancel or scheduler, and then here's the one we've been talking about is send notification. If you're taking a peek down here and you're seeing send disclosures, like, wait, we can send disclosures? Yes. You can actually automate your initial disclosures or change circumstance disclosures right through Encompass Web natively. You do not need any third-party technology whatsoever. And so, again, when this came out, I've been really promoting the fact that um, if you didn't realize you could, now you know. If you're using a third-party platform that is sending out your automated disclosures, here's another alternative to consider that's already built into your success-based pricing with ICE, no extra cost. Um, so hopefully this has been helpful. If you ever need any information, you can always reach me. 
using Larry at ATIHelps.com. And I uh, also get over to mortgage.community. That's where I camp out all the time. That's where I post this information. But I thought this was a good video to send out to everybody because <clears throat> I'm still finding a lot of folks are either uh, caught up in the in the past of Encompass Web, it used to be called LO Connect, right? And, um, and so there was always a lot to be desired back then, but this is now. This is June 5th, 2024. And if you're not participating in understanding all of this information, um, you should be. And by the way, if you are uh, ever looking to get more information about how to master Encompass, this is where you want to get to, masteringencompass.com. We actually have a full Web Essentials course um, that I put together that goes through all of this information. It's only $499, one-time pay, and you're, you have lifetime access to the course, um, which, again, is over at mortgage.community. We've got a ton of people in there uh, participating, and you can come over into this over in Web Essentials, and we've got the lessons built over here in the feed, and uh, every other week we have a, an online meeting, um, which happens to be today. Um, so... Thanks very much for paying attention, and uh, for goodness sake, get on the bandwagon here with Encompass Web, and we'll see you there. Thanks.